Cheer Up Charlie. And today I have the amazing, the star, the star of Young Sheldon, Ian Armitage! Woo -woo! Hey! Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing very good, what about you? Yeah, I'm doing good. And I hope this 10 to 11 thing goes pretty well and isn't a complete and utter disaster. Oh, it will go well. <laughs> yeah. So, if you're ready, we'll just hop straight into the questions. Of course, always ready. You have grown up with theatre. Have you always loved it? Oh, yeah. Since, well, I've listened to theatre my whole life. I saw my first show when I was three years old. Wow. And I saw my first Broadway show when I was also three. So, <laughs> theatre's just in my blood. Uh, my dad's an actor. My yeah. mom is a stage manager, assistant director, a bunch of, di er, bunch of different stuff. Um, and then I've, I've just always loved theater. There's something about seeing actors on a stage yeah. live doing such amazing yeah. work that's so cool. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. What made you start doing your Ian Loves Theater channel? Well, actually on my very first show when I was three, we had, afterwards I wanted to do a little thank you to the cast because my babysitter um, at the time was in the show. So, you know, I was three, so I went like, Hello there, I really enjoyed the show. Thank you for doing I was like, real, not at all a good review. But um, after, after that, whenever I would see a show, I would kind of think like, well, it would be cool if I could do like a little thank you because they do such hard work and it's so yeah. awesome. And eventually that evolved to Ian Lowe's Theater. And now every time I see a show, I give it a review. That's cool, yeah. How hard was it to build up your YouTube channel and gain a following in particular as a child? Actually, I don't really handle it, so I have no idea. But, <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I think, I think people seeing other people do what they love. Like, I think one of the reasons you're so awesome and popular oh, is thanks. because you do what you love and you don't care about other people being like, oh, that's not cool, or oh, I don't like yeah. that. You're just like, you be you. So yeah. I think that's one of the reasons um, people enjoy my reviews. Yeah. When did you discover you had a talent for interviewing and doing reviews? Let me think. I think you're a lot better than me. Let's just say that. Oh, um, thank you. I just think it's awesome to talk to the people who make this wonderful magic. Um, I loved coming up with the questions probably around like, seven-ish maybe yeah. like I would kind of do little like nothing like what you're doing you're way better at this than I am but like interviews <laughs> like I would kind of go to someone and say like are you it, like if it, if it was an actor I'd say like so what show are you in like what do you do in the show stuff like that yeah but it's just got your questions have just got better and better <laughs> thank you well I mean yours already started way up here Mine started here and got to like here-ish, and yours were already like way up there. <laughs> Thanks. What was it like being part of the world of animation doing school? That was a very bad scooby doo impression, awesome. by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, mine is worse. I can do Shaggy, but I, I went like, scooby doo doo and they were like, <laughs> okay, yeah, can you just stick to Shaggy? Um, that was amazing because I had never really done a real animated thing before. I had done yeah. like little, um, like, I think I did, like, an, a song for an amusement park before. That was fun. But I'd never done, like, a cartoon. Yeah. So that was just amazing, and it was so new to me. But, like, you can come up, you can show up in your pajamas if you want, because they're just, yeah. they just use your voice. So it yeah. was really cool. And they only have two-hour sessions to conserve your voice. So that was, it was really awesome. Yeah, that sounds really cool. I first came across you when you sent me a message of support after I was beaten by a group of boys for my love of music and dance. Have you ever suffered at the hands of bullies? I think I have suffered at the hands of bullies, but I don't think so much because of musical theater. I think more mm. because I've always loved sparkles and pink and things I that are traditionally considered pink. girl things. Yes. I mean, things aren't boy or girl. Things are things, and things are awesome unless they're like bad things. Yeah. So, you know, I think it's cool to like sparkles and pink, and I also yes. like, you know, but, um, 
since I've grown up so like in the musical theater community, mm -hmm. I haven't really ever gotten bullied for it. And I feel so lucky because I know a lot of kids are bullied for loving such an awesome thing. Yeah. I, I personally think other people are just jealous that just jealous. Yeah. But they didn't think of it before you. <laughs> yeah, like somebody asked me what my favorite animal is, I'll tell them it's a unicorn. I mean, yeah. My favorite color is rainbow sparkles, so. Yeah, that's a cool color. I think it's the best one because you can have all the colors. Yep. And glitter. And glitter. All the colors and glitter. It's, it's, it's like, just a win, 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 win. I strongly believe that our generation will be the ones to make a change. To show people that what you choose to be or do does not define you in any way. Do you think that more needs to be done in schools with educating on the arts and in particular with the boys? Oh, yes. I think everyone... I think musical theater is just such a good influence and it can mm -hmm. teach you so much about life and about humans and about yeah. how people feel. And I think it's a way, even if you don't automatically, it, it kind of, you sort of connect with the people on stage, even if you aren't really thinking about connecting, you just sort of mm -hmm. automatically do. And a lot of times you kind of think to yourself like, wow, that person's a lot like me. And I think that's really cool because it shows people that, you know, you're not the only, everyone's unique, but there are also people like you. And okay. so I think that's, I think everyone yeah. should at least know a little bit of musical theater. Mm -hmm. And now for a round of funny questions. Ooh, funny. Yeah, these are my favorite questions. What is your dream role, regardless of age, gender, or animal? Ooh, I love these questions. Um, probably the Phantom of the Opera. I would also like to be Pippin. I would also like to be Natasha from Natasha Beer and the Dream of 1812. Yeah. So many different people. Hamilton, of course. Oh, yeah. Um, so many different. I wish I could be like every musical theater character ever all rolled up into one. <laughs> that a lot is of a very good answer. A lot of contradictions, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can work like every single musical theater character shifts. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a pretty similar mind. Yeah, yeah, I think we do too. Do you have a nickname? Well, know, let me think. Still, just like. Well, Reagan on Young Sheldon, who plays Missy, calls me Buddy, <laughs> but I'm not sure if that's really a nickname. Uh, so my friends call me Taz, because I'm crazy like a Tasmanian devil sometimes, <laughs> but um, <laughs> not, for the most part, not really. Uh, well, my middle name's Marshall, but I don't think that really counts. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Taz, because I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's epic. What do you get in trouble for most of your parents? Ooh, that's a good one. Let me think. I feel like whatever I'm going to say is going to be wrong. My mom's going to be like, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> think. Probably. Uh, let me think. I'm very nonsensical a lot of times. So I'll just be running around the house spouting up random words. And my mom will be like, when you talk, you should be saying real things. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I like to say random blabber words. I don't oh, care. Oh, me too. Me too. I mean, I think it's easier to express your feelings when you're yeah. talking like a baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you don't know if I'm complimenting you or insulting you. I could be saying, and I could say, no, of course not. I was complimenting you. Or I could say, I was insulting you. I could be doing anything. You don't know. That face looks like a very insulting face. Oh. <laughs> or, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it sounds, that face looks it like could a be done either face. way. Mm -hmm. What is your funniest red carpet moment, either doing an interview or when you were at an awards ceremony? Oh, I have a good one. I was doing, um, red carpet for Mr. Perez Hilton at the Tony oh. Awards. And I was, I was, you know, I was surrounded by these amazing Broadway people who are so mm -hmm. 
good at what they do mm -hmm. and so famous for being so awesome and so kind yeah. and so funny and nice. And Mr. Lin-Manuel Miranda, you know, of course, wow. every reporter wanted to talk to him because he was, he was going up the red carpet and he had like probably about a minute to get into the actual place because they were closing the theater, that everyone had to be inside. And, you know, he was gonna be up on stage winning like trillions of, of awards, yes. so he had to be in there. Obviously, and he was nominated for a bunch of Lin Manuel. But he, I said, can I, can I have a quick interview? And he said, yes, and he came over and he did a whole rap about my name. And the annoying thing about my name is that it rhymes with the word, um, Pian. Ian, Pian. <laughs> so he used a, I said, a lot of times when people try to make up rhymes or raps about my name, it can be hard to stay away from certain words. So he made one cont uh, entirely free of the word Pian, which I thought was well, quite amazing because yeah. it takes quite a wordsmith to um, figure out other words than <laughs> yeah. some words to, to rhyme, with, e with, to rhyme with Ian. But he's so awesome, yeah. So yeah. very awesome. Have you ever got caught playing a trick on or prank on set? Oh yeah, well well this one I wasn't exactly caught for, but we love the dad on our show, Mr. Lance Barber, who plays George yeah. Senior. We love pulling pranks on him. So one time when we were coming coming back from a season, this was a little bit mean, but we had a huge sign on his wall, like um like glued to the wall that said welcome back dummy but um and sometimes we'll well one time we we covered his whole room with pictures of his face so like even the toilet seat like everywhere so that he walked in he went whoa but um we love pulling pranks on him <laughs> although Although mostly my mom and the other moms on the, st on the show are usually the ones who lead the prank, so I can be like, them, not me. <laughs> I have a human shield. We all have one. Um, what is your worst habit? Because mine is picking up my food with my fingers. Mm, yeah, me too. I'm trying to think. Uh, ooh, well, well, this isn't exactly, well, I used to bite my nails a lot. That was annoying. Yeah. I, I've read up probably a thousand that I'm not thinking of right now. Uh, ooh, I get really weird about closing doors. I always, I always close doors, then like pull on them again to make sure they're really close because we have a lot of mosquitoes here in Virginia. So I'm always like, yeah. Well, yeah, there's but, no um, in checking. Oh, yeah. But, uh, but I like, I don't just check, I really check. Now for a round of quick fire questions. Text or talk? Uh, talk. Favorite city? New York. Favorite superpower? Yes, the, the <laughs> creating dimensions that you could go through. So like I could create a dimension on my floor and suddenly be in like India. Cool. <laughs> Favorite song? Um, uh, mm, Omaha by Counting Crows. No, um, mm, <laughs> Anything but Queen or Bowie, or Cat Gross, or Bruce Springsteen, or Prince, or just musical theater. No, what kind of mm. <laughs> terrible child? <laughs> Burger or pizza? What'd you say? Burger or pizza? Pizza. No question. Winter or summer? Mm, summer, but I love winter because I can have snowball fights and snow throw snowballs at random passing cars and pedestrians. Mwah. <laughs> now and there's a controversial controversial funny question coming up soon but you'll just mm. have to wait and see favorite movie or tv show mm, oh, well i liked i liked uh, my spy my friend chloe coleman was that was in that and spies oh. in disguise so anything with spies <laughs> favorite harry potter character oh i gotta say Oh, I don't want to say it. Maybe a little bit more, but not really. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I'm don't. kind of drawn to. I'm kind of drawn to the bad guys' intros. I don't know why. I'm a very nice person. Oh, once you get to know me. Same. Same. <laughs> I think Harry Potter's my alter ego. I know. It's like yeah, but also uh, uh, the evil characters get to do all the mwahahas, and I'm really yes. drawn to the mwahahas. I think that's it. Mum or dad. Okay, my mom's right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and say 
mom, but you are a really, really naughty child. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like See, Voldemort. <laughs> you got the evil laugh. Nice job. Oh my god, you nailed that. E you nail. You nailed that evil laugh. You nailed it. And I've I've even got a chair to do it in where I can spin round and go oh, I've been expecting yeah. you. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I gotta like get on my couch for that, and I don't wanna yeah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> now it's for a tongue twister. A tongue twister. Mm -hmm. If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes does he choose? If a dog chews shoes, whose shoes 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 shoes? <laughs> All I heard was shoes. <laughs> wait, 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 let me try it again. If a dog shoes, 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 shoes. <laughs> No. If, if a dog, dog choose who's, hey, who's repeat after me. If a dog, shoes. if a dog, choose shoes, 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 choose shoes, 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 whose shoes, 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 <laughs> does he choose? Shoe, shoe, shoes. <laughs> what can I say? I just heard shoes. <laughs> if a dog choose shoes, whose shoes does he choose? Yeah, there. If there you go. There. So it wasn't quite what I was saying before. No, <laughs> no, not quite. I think there's a lesson to be learned here. Maybe something about teamwork. Maybe something about listening to people. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there's a moral of the story, but I really can't. I really can't. Be Maybe something about it out. cookies. <laughs> moral of the story, but can't be bothered to figure it out. Yep. <laughs> there is a moral here, but I don't care what it is. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much, Ian. That was absolutely awesome. I Thank you that. so much. I had so much fun. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. I'll see you soon. <laughs>